Roar! <laughs> no, you do not start off in combat, but I need to get the We're turn close. order. Okay. <laughs> 17 awesome mm -hmm. so let's see <clears throat> uh visual mm -hmm. uh could i lay uh could i have the other character sheets uh, after this one i want to try something for next session uh sure uh so we have uh Da, da, da. Rosalia has 20. 20. So she goes first. The DM is last so far. Then we have <clears throat> Ramo. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Garius. I prefer to be further behind. <laughs> then we have. If you want, we can swap. Um, nah. Nightfall, if I see this correctly. Then we have Midnight. And then me. So, is everyone ready and prepared? We have to be prepared? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do my homework. <coughs> yeah, how was that? Hey, teacher, can I be punished for so something I'm I didn't do? You're recording this? <laughs> I'm recording this, yes. As am I. As is prof. Because the last time, because I was actually listening to the other ones that were recorded, and Prof was very quiet. Like, all of us had good volume, but Prof was very quiet, yeah. even though I could hear him in the actual session. Yeah, that was my recording, and I had uh, I never used that one before. I always opened, uh, had it as a, a backup, uh, but therefore I never checked uh, the quality. Because, like I said, I, I wasn't expecting that we need this recording. Because originally the plan was that Visual was streaming, uh, so I didn't put too much effort into it. And also, it did miss a bit of it, because um, there was um, a bit at the end missed out, if I recall. Okay. On the first one that came out, because um, I think it was just before Garius had his little hissy fit, where um, everybody <laughs> had to roll magical defense. Mm -hmm. Little, just tiny oh. little fit of uh, rage. So okay. nobody's going to be aware of that. Um, somewhere oh. just around when I closed the portal before, you know, me and Midnight had our bit of a uh, it was that, Yeah, Was that the recording of the stream or did you upload it my version, Wizzo? Uh, I recorded you, uh, I uploaded your version. Okay, strange. So for everyone yeah. listening... Guys had a bit of a crazy craziness and destroyed a lot of things. Um, and script had to calm him down. By capturing him in a gem. And Garius was very embarrassed because normally he's the one telling people to calm down. <laughs> yeah. But in his defense, though, he's used to being in a command bunker somewhere outside of combat. His idea of sacrifice before now was dedicating every second of his life to work. Now he has to make snap decisions out in the field, and his idea of sacrifice and work have changed. And he's getting stressed out because he's an administrator, not a warrior, and here he is on the battlefield. Ah, so he's not a field commander. <laughs> He's a powerful administrator, not a warrior. And I've been telling you this from the start. <laughs> He's I... an administrator. Galius, I know that feeling. <laughs> it's like, okay, you know how you're used to um, signing orders? Yeah, here's a gun. You're on the front lines. 
Uh, <laughs> what do I do with this thing? <laughs> I think he's doing quite well considering he's out of his element almost entirely. Yeah. Also, just point the shooty bit at the enemy and pull the trigger. He'll try. He'll also try not to hit an ally accidentally. Because you'd have to introduce the term of recoil to him. Otherwise, he might fire. It will kick back. He'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he's never fired a gun in his life. He hasn't even fired a pistol before. Oh, the only God. weapon he's ever used is his fist. That's going to be fun. Anyhow, the setting is the following. We are all in a council chamber. Darius, you're echoing. Am I? Yes, oh, you are. even entering. Is that any better? Yes. yes. Okay. So we are all in a council chamber. Mm. Sitting around a big round table. And um. at the head of it, you could call it at the head of it, sits Midnight. I call everything to order. <laughs> Raises an eyebrow. Looks confused around her. Well, and... it is Rosalia's first turn first, so go ahead. Yep, yeah, it's Looking Rosalia's confused turn. Go ahead, Rose. Looking confused around her, like, why am I here again? Looking over to Mama. You're here because you're part of the war effort and you are the medical field, basically. So we need to know, you need to know what's going to happen so that you can prepare. And you might have to tell them something. Oh. Uh, me or Rose? You. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, so I met with, well, two different people, actually. I met with the chrysalis. And she is ga gathering her, well, a thousand, was it a thousand? Mm -hmm. A thousand of her drones, preparing them for infiltration missions that we'll be sending them on so that we can gather even more info a little bit more secretively. And I also met with the Council of Light. The what now? The Council of Light. The basically people in charge of our side, of the good light side of the war. I assume, Garius, you know who I'm talking about? You've mentioned them a few times, and I'm delighted to hear that changelings will be a part of our war effort. I would like to have a garrison on board my ships if um, you could spare them when they arrive. I didn't bring enough infantry to fill my ships, so I'd be glad for the additional support. Will do. I'll talk to Chrysalis and them when they get here. The Council Thank of you. Light is run by someone Nightfall might know, actually. Looks over at Nightfall. <laughs> Does so as well. Do you remember that creature that you summoned in your kitchen? Well, Script's kitchen. Looks back over to Oh, Mama. you mean the weird, gross tentacle monster that almost tried to murder me? Yeah, that one? You mean Cthulhu? Yeah, that one. Well, turns, out, she, turns out she's not a gross, wriggly tentacle monster, though she can take that form. She is actually a version of Lupina who has absorbed uh, a thousand fifths. You know, the worst thing is that doesn't even... That 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 completely makes sense. Yeah, and she's I, That is completely role. believable. Rosalia kind of throws... Oh, oh, that, like, 
upper body of herself like on the table like what <laughs> <laughs> looking over at nightfall yeah she was quite put out whenever uh she had some find out someone actually did the summoning spell hence why she took your soul and ate it looks over at mama huh <laughs> don't worry dear so yeah she is also the thing that was fighting Barbara. It's narrow. And yes, she is the reason that dimension fell. She was aiming uh, power, her power at Barbara, and instead, accidentally, whether she hit the per the person who just happened to have the essence of that world. Quite so yeah, a coincidence it seems. Yeah. Anyway, they um, are so far pre saying that they trust us for now, at least a little, and are setting up support systems in place. Apparently, once they're finished building, what was it? They, what was it that they called it? Military bases. Okay. Apparently, they're building military bases here. They had already started while I was talking to them, which was annoying, but, oh well. The more support, the better. It also turns out that our dimension is surrounded. A little. What do you mean about a little? How can you be a little surrounded? Well, three out of four sides of our dimension are dark. So we got three, we're also on the ver very edge we're basically on the front lines. What do you mean by dark exactly? Do you mean like infected, corrupted? Are we talking a total blackout of no communications and there's nothing getting through? What kind of dark are we talking here? As in they f they are on the darks sides. So All right. they're the things that are at they are the people that are actually invading us or invaded us last time. Um so yeah. Also, you will find that there is a stallion on board going by... Oh, solar gonna... Flare. I was about to say Solar Flame, so that was close. <laughs> <laughs> um, called solar, fl solar Flare. So he is actually the messenger between us and the light. Apparently, if you try interrogating him, he will just turn to dust or something. Rosalie opens her mouth, but then closes it. <laughs> so yeah, a lot has happened in the last day. <clears throat> For now, I say, um, do help out the light. I must say that meeting Cthulhu, I'm not 100% certain about her. Uh, but... Especially considering how many lives she destroyed, even just trying to fight Barbara in our own dimension, let alone the other one. But they will be able to help us even slightly. So for now, we cooperate. Okay? Script just the entire time he has his uh, four hoofs crossed, nodding grimly. And if anyone sees Barbara, please let me know. See if your hair goes up in the back of your daughter's neck, but doesn't say anything. And yes, we know for a fact she's still alive. Apparently she did escape that blast of destroying the dimension. If I may ask a question. Go for it. How close are we to the Council of Light at the moment? Exactly what is the diplomatic situation between us? They are so far deciding to trust us, at least a little, by setting up bases. But if we show, but they were very suspicious of the fact that we were so 
it looked like we were helping Barbara. Though they absolutely loved that I called her Barbara. Anyway. <laughs> um, um, if I may add one thing. Mm -hmm. Them adding bases in our world might not be a sign of trust. It might be a sign of distrust if they want a military presence in our world. If we get out of line, they could punish us with that. So I recommend we have troops in the area as well to secure their positions. And if they prove troublesome, at the very least, we can defend ourselves preemptively if necessary. I mean, if they decide to turn on us at an opportune moment, we can't let our guard down in those areas. Exactly what I They've thought. already destroyed one universe. We can't let them destroy ours as well. So if they decide to just bring troops here, we need to keep an eye on them. I agree. Though, to be honest, with the amount of power we saw with Cthulhu, I doubt we'd have much of a chance against her. But, yes... Which brings me to my we second can't just point. let them run around without any limitations, however. If then, they feel like they run the place, we'll be under their foot in no time. And in the worst case, we at least have a warning system. Agreed. Indeed. Which brings me to my next point. We need power. We're coming across people and creatures that have more than one set of power within them. We need more. I doubt we'll ever get up to Cthulhu's level, but if we're to stand a chance at all, we need to gain some more. My galaxy's still battling our fifth. I'd be more than happy to have him out of the question. <laughs> Point. Eve. However, there is another place that I'm thinking that is already weakened. Hey, Hunt, can I summon the uh, map? You can do so from memory, yes. Okay. Without a magic to... check. Yes. I summon a, a map of the universe, a multiverse in front of us. Pointing to our world. This is our world. As you can see, it's surrounded by three dark worlds. I have some intel that's tell, told me that this one points to one of them. The correct one, by the way. Mm. <laughs> Has suffered an attack and are still recuperating. Specifically, the Avatar of War. We might be able to take them and reclaim it, and hopefully take their power. Do we really want to go that road? We have to make it make us start moving forward, otherwise we're just defending and defending and defending and we will eventually fall. We have Indeed. to attack at some point. So we may as well take out an easy target and gain more power so we can take on more. There's two avenues that I can see, if I may. We either go all in and no. deliver a show of force, or we send in a small strike team, which means we can use stealth and keep our universe protected with the majority of our force. Either one has upsides and downsides. True, but if we need their, if we need to take their power. I would need to be there to take it. Or looks at the rest of the, uh, the other two, five, three, five in the room. Um, Olivium and Lupin are also here. Okay. <laughs> or one of us should be there as well. I'll obviously need to make harm harmony harmonizing stones as well. But... If I may. Yes. Olivium says. <clears throat> If they have suffered an attack, if all five of us go, we can take all of their five powers. True. The problem is leaving, we're 
we're leaving our world without our big five. Uh, Rosalia and... kind of looks at the mother like, so me and my siblings, we doesn't count, I guess. Elysium oh. actually looks over at Rosalia and Ramo. No, oh. what I was actually thinking is that we, more experienced ones, stay behind. And um. like the pups? And the pups go and take that power for themselves. Rosalia kind of jumps back in the chair and just like, I shouldn't have said anything. I regret this decision. <laughs> I will go as well. And if I may, I think Midnight should as well to look after her children. Mm. Very well. Agreed. No offense, but I'm also an inexperienced one here. But Script and I will stay here. Agreed. What about you, Nightfall? You want to come with? Uh, yeah, sure. It's not like I got any business hanging around here. Mm. Haven't you a ship to fix? Your Yggdrasil is already fixed. Ah, okay. <laughs> he did that already. Yeah, like he fixed it like a fix quicks. Not a proper one. True. It but... works, doesn't it? If you yes. want, I can have my repair drones take a look at it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Nightfall, if you need a ship to uh, be on, I offer mine. So you can be a member of my crew for the duration. Look, I'm just going to go wherever I'm needed. And I'm not needed here, so basically anywhere. Whoever needs me... Whoever needs my skills, you just tell me where to go. All right. Intel says at least that the that the Avatar of War is a spider and a guy, but that's all I know. That is all we know about them. Doesn't yes. seem like very much. No, but. It's... It's good information, though, if it's a spider. A spider has a lot of hairs all over its body that are pretty sensitive, so maybe acid and energy-based weapons would be extremely effective if we can get them to land. True. Or how about this? Radiation-based weaponry. We don't want to irradiate ourselves. Might not be as effective. Something corrosive to maybe burn all their hairs off will leave them blind least far less perceptive don't forget rosalia will need to be able to need to be able to take her power take his power so which i'm hmm. to be honest, not exactly i suppose sure you're I'm... right absorbing a god with radiation poisoning is more likely to give you radiation poisoning yeah exactly. no agenda. thank you very very much <laughs> besides the spider apparently only has three legs and one eye Okay. Left. He had more. But yeah, likelihood is he's regenerated at least a little bit. So time is of the essence. My ship's ready to go at any time. Then I guess. And Script pulls out a little wooden case out of his vest. Looks like looks a little bit like a cigar case. Mm -hmm. and throws it over to Midnight. Catches it? <coughs> what? The gems? You can open it and have a look. Opens it. <laughs> and you see two gems. One red, one green. Alright. The red one brings you to the dimension in question. The green one returns you home. Be quick, the portals only stay open for about 20 seconds. Gotcha. Um, don't worry, guys, we don't need your ships. They actually don't have a sh any ships up, uh, anymore. Still, Still orbital okay. firepower in the area yeah, we... might be uh, useful. Mm. 
Mm. You're more likely to hit us. Very well, then I'll leave the ship behind, but shall I bring my crew at the very least? Having infantry support us with those um, new ad advancements that Ramo's been able to provide. Although they'll be in their home turf, so perhaps it won't be as useful. Looking to Garvis and saying they wouldn't have any use if they only have their own power. That's true, but still, at least some extra support would be good. So all of us have to get through this at once. Gather your forces, gather whatever you need. Not exactly sure how long we'll be there, but gather what you need. And meet, and meet the GP in the... Where would it be? Where would it be the best? Uh, cargo hold? <laughs> yeah, it's a big area, so... Yeah, meet me in the cargo hold. Oh, and... Someone sent a message to Pixie and... Uh, Silverstar... Oh, wait, Silverstar won't be able to come with us. Pixie and Ivory Mist, if Ivory Mist is feeling up for it. I know he's still recovering. Is he? I don't know mm -hmm. where he is. Actually, just Pixie. Just get Pixie. I'll wait. send a message to Ivory. I'm pretty sure he won't want to miss this. All right. Rose, call your sister. Looks kind of like, mm, I don't want to. <sighs> Rosalia? Pixie, I get dust and candy. A magical vortex opens right behind Rosalia <laughs> and a sleepy pixie cotton steps out. <laughs> She glares at, at the room in general. Uh, can I summon the cotton candy now? I forgot to do it first. Oops. Sure, go ahead. Make a magic check. <laughs> yes! Okay, you summon cotton candy. Where do you summon it? Uh, in my paws. So I can give it to her. She still grumbles a little bit, looking at everyone questioningly. Pixie, we're going to another dimension to steal their the fit all the five's powers. Her ears perk up, her eyes are suddenly wide open. She taps the gauntlet on her um on her left forearm. And an entire set of black spiky armor manifests around her. Ready? <laughs> Nightfall appears vaguely interested in this transformation. Ooh, neat trick. <clears throat> All right. Get, get ready. Maybe bring some supplies, Pixie. Oh, wait. Our powers won't work in that dimension, will it? Looks at script. Actually, it is as close as it can get to ours in terms of magical frequencies, so it should be no problem. All right. That's good. Won't need anything to use the powers then. <sighs> Sometimes I like that. <laughs> oh, and Pixie? Hmm? No making weapons to that deal with the sun. You can't quite see it, but you get a feeling that she's pulling her ears back. Why? Hun, that was a... We don't need that. But it's effective. I'll... Effective or not, I will think about it if we need it in further time, but right now, I don't need it. Understood? Fine. Can you make non uh, world ending weapons, please? Where's the fun in that? That's already Ramos' job. <laughs> I'm just thinking. You can make even better stuff putting your heads together. 
Pixie, hmm? do you remember when we basically had that water uh, melon eating contest? Mm -hmm. It's going to be something similar, but we each get our own watermelon this time. So first one to eat it up wins. That's basically what's going to go on in the adventure. Fun. That's why you don't need to make the doom the whole dimension kind of weapon because we need something of it to be alive. She cocks her head at you, kind of confused, and says, I think I got what you were saying. Basically, I'm not allowed to kill the dimension because we're supposed to get something from it, but I need a coffee. <laughs> Get it on your way. Get what you need and meet me in the cargo bay. I think that's the third time I've said that. And she disappears in another magical vortex. I nod to the others and go to the uh, go to the cargo bay with all my stuff too. Okay. What does everyone else do? While everyone uh, thinks about what they will bring on the adventure, I'll be five minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'm amazed no one asked where I got this intel. Um, he uh, will wait <clears throat> and ask you later. Can we continue in this uh, mid time or? No, we'll need to wait for him while we just think about what we want to bring. <laughs> um, Before I think what I want to bring, uh, I think Rama would follow you because he has a few questions. <laughs> he didn't want to ask him with uh, the full party. Uh, Okay, present. well, um, we c I guess we could continue that part. Um, I think, maybe. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> mean me. You chasing after me. Yeah, I would follow into the cargo bay. <laughs> What's up, Rama? <laughs> <sighs> You said the only intel we have about them is uh, spider legs eyes. What do we know about their intention? They are the dark half, basically. They are part of the people that tried to fight us, that tried to destroy our this home, this dimension. They want to destroy the light, basically. That is our motiv motivations. And that is for certain? Yes. Okay. That's why their dimension is dark. If you're light, you're all light. You're on the light side. If you're dark, you're on the dark side. If you're gray, you're neutral. Which means that basically your fifth hasn't decided yet. The problem is in our world, there are two fifths. Me and Pixie. And although some of us might be more light than others. I'm pretty hey. sure we're very much we're a little bit closer to neutral than either or. Make sense? Okay. Now go pack. Only, I wouldn't like to attack someone who don't want to do harm to us. And if the other intel is so where uh, is so thin. I only wanted to be sure that I'm on the right side. We are on the right side. Don't worry. No, I'd want that too. I wouldn't uh, attack unless I was certain. One more smile and uh, goes off to pack his stuff. Okay, so what are we bringing? Garius, what are you bringing? I'm bringing 16 ISO troopers and four special operation troopers. They will all be equipped with Ramos guns just in case other dark gods decide to join the fight from other universes. That way we can at least weaken any reinforcements they gather. And um, one of my special operations troopers will be on Arm Iron Vulcan, which is basically a Gatling on a battle harness attached to the armor. Okay, has everyone decided? Uh, Garris just told us how much she's bringing um midnight's and, got um, visual, some... i sent you a picture of the iso trooper okay just a vague what it looks like it's sort of semi-powered armor it's mm -hmm. not full power armor it's lighter 
but it's decent. Okay. Midnight's carrying food, <laughs> just in case we can't use our power, and um, a, a gun. That's not very used to, that she doesn't really know what to what do the, with. But... A gun. You gotta be more specific. Is it ballistic? <laughs> is it energy? Is it... It's a gun. <laughs> it's a gun. Is it a pistol? Is it a rifle? Is it's it a, a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's really not a, not specific. We'll go is with it piss. like we'll go with a gun? We'll go yeah. with a Fallout 4 10 millimeter gun. pistol. Uh, yep, that that works. Or is it maybe an airsoft gun or and a knife, a pocket knife? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cute. And each ISO trooper is armed with a um, hard light assault rifle and a pistol or SMG, except for one ISO Spec Ops, which, you know, the smart guns from Alien, they're kind of like this big gun on a robotic arm mm -hmm. attached to the power armor. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that, but you know the Gatling guns you see on the chin of helicopters? It's mm -hmm. that. It's basically that, but on a robotic arm. Okay. There's a helicopter grade Gatling gun. All of the guns have um, those attachments that Ramo designed. Okay. The Gatling guns, just in case we run into tanks. Oh, so it's we now gun. have. So we now have um, everyone gathered in the cargo hold, except the ones who are staying behind. Basically, Lupina is not there. Elysium is not there, Morphus is not there, but we have um, Ivory, who looks a little bit worse for wear, but he's grinning quite stupidly, eager to go. And we have Pixie Cotton. Pixie right. decides only to bring her armor while um, Ivory just has put a scarf around his neck. <laughs> no, doesn't he have one of his uh, like uh, Nintendo DS's or something with him? No. <laughs> okay. And he looks at Midnight and asks, Well, everyone ready? I want to go. Mm -hmm. I send one final message to Miss Midnight and tell her that um, I'll be back soon and she's in charge while I'm gone, as usual. And you get a message back that just says affirmative. And happy hunting. So, and midnight. looks to the rest and, um, yeah. It's on you. Nods. <laughs> All right. Takes out, wait, the red one was for the go to that dimension, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Takes out the red gem. Putting the green one away, the box with the green one away safely. Mm-hmm. And... Looks around. Okay, this only stays open for 20 seconds. Um, quick question about the character. Do I have a, a type of armor? You can have a type of armor if you want to. Yeah, but I don't think I created one because I can't remember till now. So I don't think I'm, uh, that is, no. uh, there was enough time. No, you didn't. Okay, uh, I think the only stuff I would bring with would, would be a water pistol filled with uh, lemon juice uh, and a book about spiders. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, can I point out something? Lupina gave all the pups armor. Yes. Oh, actually, yes, she did. Ah, okay, then I have, because I wasn't quite sure at the moment. Then I think I would uh, have my armor. So you have, a, like, this medieval armor on you. Ooh. Better than nothing. <laughs> Does Rosalia have her armor? Yes. How does mine look? Pink. Hmm. Basically, imagine a, imagine a knight's armor, but in pink. 
I don't think I've seen her armor. Hmm? I need a picture. <laughs> if you have one. One moment. I've just put in the main chat what my troopers look like for everyone else other than the hmm. DM because... That looks like one of the simulacrums. I I'll just went on Google there. and looked for power armor and looked for one that's... So. Basically, that's your armor, Rosalia it's, it's and Ramo. Black. But Ramos is white and uh, Rosalia's is pink. <laughs> and my Don't laugh! Black. I was more thinking, uh, I was more imagining how uh, a bookworm like a Ramo uh, would move in a, in a armor like this without much uh, training. <laughs> yeah, basically, Very uncomfortably. Basically, you, Ramo, get a stealth penalty of five. <laughs> <laughs> um, Only I? Yeah, because I have proper training with Auntie Loopy. Nah, need the training too. Or at least a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> he read the book. <laughs> Anyhow, so I guess you are opening that portal now. Yep, I'm just warning everyone. 20 seconds. If you don't get no, through... No. Oh. Sorry. If you lose a leg, I kinda wanna, I sorry. Kinda wanna, mm? I, I kind of want to say how I look. <laughs> if it's okay. Hmm? You look like that. You have that sort of armor, but just pink. Yeah, and I have my armor? harness with Francis on and a big saddlebag. The other, one side is basically full of medic uh, kit stuff. And even like something, a, a band, band, band aid is like half out of the bag. And on the other side, it smells of lamb and bread. And for some reason, a radio with the radio antenna sticking out of the other side of it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I thought it was funny. It is. <laughs> okay. uh... You're basically going camping. Yeah. Do I have to put this um, on the wall? Gem on wall? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like the one that script gave you ages ago. Yeah, just checking. Everybody's getting ready to just make a rush through. Yeah, pretty much. Obviously, the main people in front first, then Garius's man. Uh, I already have to uh, crystal in a paw. She has. Okay. I'm putting it in now. Nah. <laughs> and a yeah. white, Darius's blue, friend. shimmering portal appears. Runs through. <laughs> Nightfall also rushes through. Follows. Also rushes through in unison. Rosalia? Uh, yeah. Um, kind of don't want to run on anybody, so it's kind of last. But yeah. Rosalia, you make it through. As the last one. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Waited too long. <laughs> yes. I actually timed this. I have a... <laughs> Does that mean none of Garius's men got through? Yep. Exactly. Um, I said that me and my men went through in unison. I was actually right beside ah, Okay. Them. Okay. Then your men are through. I'll let it count. We went through as a unit. I'll let it count. As a unit. Hmm. Uh, if I had a few more seconds, I would have asked if we could maybe get more than one return crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, I was asking if you're already uh, having it in the fall. So, yeah. You find yourself in a semi dark hallway. Or no, let's not make this a hallway, let's make this a little bit of a, a entrance hall to what appears to you like a castle. Are we however, going turns now? Are we... However, you are seeing definite damage, like parts of the ceiling or walls are collapsed. And yes, you are taking turns. 
So whose turn is it now? Ramo. What? Nah. <laughs> Checking if everything is still where it should be. Do an investigation check. <laughs> Everything is still where it should be. You don't see anything out of place. Okay. You have one more action and one attack. <clears throat> ah. Looking around, if uh, everyone, uh, if uh, the others are also, are also all there where uh, they should be. You see that everyone has made it through, so Rosalia's tail seems to be missing a few hairs. <laughs> well, maybe short uh, tails uh, come to uh, fashion. Don't you dare. I was just about to say, Verity did say short tails are in style this, this year. <laughs> <laughs> Simply grinning to her. Grinning back? Because no. <laughs> Not at you. So, you end your turn? Yeah, I end my turn. Okay, then it is Garius' turn. I um, have my men set up a perimeter around the group, um, make sure we're not ambushed, and I look to midnight. So, what's the plan, Commander? As your men move out, one of them suddenly screams and disappears towards the ceiling. Okay, every I shout, everybody, look up, and they all aim their rifles. And um, if they see something up there, they'll open fire. There is nothing that you can see because the ceiling is shrouded in complete darkness. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I order my men to fire up into the shadows above um, where they were and see if their bullets can hit anything. Firing through the dark. Okay. You hear a screech that sounds I pretty inhuman. I... Hmm? What bonuses my guys might have for shooting? And uh, got it. Um, sorry, you all cut out. What happened? You're echoing again. Reconnect, please. Oh. Better. Better. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Gary. You hear sorry. a you hear a screech from up above in the rafters, <laughs> and. <laughs> A yellow liquid drips down right in front of your feet. Um, I flap my wings and fly upwards, punching above me, roughly above where the dripping's coming from. So I'll roll my attack. Please do. Oh, got a two. <laughs> oh. ouch. It's for my intelligence bonus for this, because I'm using the gauntlet. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. <laughs> I disappear into the darkness and I'm never found again. <laughs> <laughs> you no. hit stone. So your attack misses. But you feel... Four very strong legs wrap around you. Garius! <laughs> I just imagine my feet are still exposed beneath me. And it's like my upper body's in the shadows, but my legs are actually not, and my legs are just kicking. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> and my legs are sort of kicking forward, motioning it in front of me. And I guess that's my turn over. <laughs> and you feel something sticky uh, being placed over your mouth. Ew. I uh, just screaming for someone to shoot it. 
So basically, you're like. Basically, yes. While you are dragged into the shadows. Yeah. Uh, not the best situation, but. Technically speaking, you'll have a man on the inside soon. <laughs> it's maybe not the real inside. <laughs> All right, which one of you decided not to bring contaminant specialists? Exactly. All right, I guess it's all up to me again. <laughs> As you. What is it? Why does it seem like my turn always begins after someone's getting murdered? <laughs> he isn't Garius, dead yet. Garius that is not dead luck? yet. He's not dead. Keyword being yet. <laughs> He is in the process of being murdered. Yet. It's kind of like Phoebe on her birthday. Oh god. All I can think <laughs> of is the the dead space ship that Midnight went through. <laughs> That's all I can think about. That and all the um, turbines. And now I'm scared. Okay, like, is this is this an alien kind of thing, or is it a xenomorph kind of thing? Like, what kind of thing, what variety of thing is this? It's clearly a spider. Not necessarily, but most likely. Do you sp Last time I checked, I don't think spiders bleed yellow, but okay. Um, sure they? You know what, I don't even think spiders bleed to begin with, so... Different universe, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, I'm probably gonna shine my flash, my like light up there. That being the number one thing. Yes, please do an investigation check. What do I have to do an investigation check to point my light up? What is this garbage? <laughs> Fine. To see if you see something up there. It also might run out of battery. <laughs> that would be a crit fail. No, a crit fail would it just be not it just not turning on to begin with. <laughs> All right, let me check. What is out, my it investigation? <laughs> What do I need? You need a total score of 12. Oh, okay. Alright, that works. Yeah, 17 works. You point your light upwards and see a really huge spider <laughs> that is currently wrapping up Garius in a cocoon. Alright then. Now the question is, what do I do with that information? Kill it. Fire at it. Save Garius. Kill it with fire. Yes, but I kill, if I kill it with fire, I'm most likely going to kill him with fire as well. And unfortunately, I, I left... I left my flamethrower in my other runner's bag, so that's just not going to go. I don't have my flamethrower, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. Can I just, like, fly up and stab it? <laughs> You're gonna get yourself killed. Yes, oh you yeah, can. I am, because my brawl score is 7. Yes, you can. I'm not gonna, but it's good to know that I, options are open to me. You do know that as a GM, I allow almost anything. That's that's the part that worries me. So oh, what will the option on. be? Uh I'm just gonna kinda like without looking uh, without looking away from it, I'm just gonna say, Well, are any of you gonna shoot it? Or is this gonna be down to me? And Garius's men open fire. Perfect. Remember, one of them has an anti-tank Gatling gun. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. So is that 17 for my men or for the dodge thing? <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? That is for your men. <laughs> okay. Can I fire uh, two or do I have to wait for my turn? 
You could fire two. Okay. Can I fire two? Yes. Bye, two. Bye, bye. Damn it. Four. Okay. Midnight and A marksman, Ramo. Midnight is not. Ramo and Midnight both miss. Ramo's bullet actually uh, uh, glances. Bullet? Are you firing? With, with what are you firing? With a water gun. Ah, okay. Then the um, <laughs> the spray of lemon water glances off Garius's helmet. And um, I'm not wearing a helmet. That's the problem. <laughs> 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 It'd be lovely if I was wearing a helmet, but sadly, no. Power armor except the helmet. And Midnight's <laughs> bullet. That goes in my eye. <laughs> so now you have lemon juice in your eye. <laughs> yeah, sadly. And Midnight's bullet hits his shoulder. <laughs> Dancing off his power armor. While the soldiers hit the spider, turning it into Swiss cheese. Does it fall? Yes, it does. As do I, I imagine. Yes. Question, am I above or below it when we both fall? You're in front of it. I was about to say, did I fall to the ground and then it land on me? <laughs> Ew. No, you both fall basically on the same level. Okay. Okay. Clank. Is it my turn? Um, no. First, I need Garius to r roll for damage. <laughs> Physical defense. Yep. I've got a stinging eye and You take three damage. Now it is Midnight's turn. Runs over to the spider, holds it down just in case it's still alive, and yells at Rosalia, get your butt over here and absorb her its power. If this is the fifth, if this is the thingy. Just saying, this thing still has all its legs. Oh! Didn't you say four legs? You said four legs, and then... But he's he was he only had three. Uh, okay, yeah. can I change what I did? Yes. Okay, doesn't do that. Runs over to the spider, looks at it, and goes... That's not the Avatar of War. And you hear a voice from the darkness above, though you cannot quite pinpoint where exactly it is coming from. And it says thickly, Are you looking for me? It's Aragog, isn't it? That's so creepy! <laughs> Looks up, and I'm going to do a magic check to summon a flame of light, which I'm amazed no one has done yet. Bright okay. enough to light up the entire room Ooh. above. Okay, go ahead. You need a total score of 20. Seriously? Mm -hmm. It's light! It's a big room. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's dimly lit, I'll take it. Damn it! You summon a tiny pinpoint of light. Can I fly it around the room? No, it's stationary right uh, in the darkness above, and you can just barely see it. <sighs> you have one attack left that you can turn into an action. I could try again 
so that everyone will be able to see and be able to fight this thing. You could. Is that this rather than us firing in the dark? Hey, you know what else you could do? Hmm. You could gla you could grab one of the flares off Nightfall's rig. He carries flares on him. Yeah, but the flares... standard operating procedure. Aren't flares the things that fire into the air and just light up a rock? Oh no, area? you can have hand flares as well. Yeah, that you can just hold. The question is. Though that now you... that I think about it, maybe that's not a good idea with all the all the fur covered creatures around. Hmm. Uh, things would more illuminate you just us. Throw it into the air, and then it would just fall back down to the ground, illuminating us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, still, some illumination is better than none, right? True, but I'd rather illumination do Illumination for like two seconds. And illumination on us, so it can see us, but we can't see it. As well. So, I'm gonna try this thing again. And hopefully okay. I get a better light. Or I could... Uh. Okay, roll. Yes! <laughs> okay. You summon a small sun right in the middle of the room, illuminating the entire area. And up above in this giant room, you see a gigantuan spider that has three and a half legs and two eyes covering the entire ceiling. I knew you were going to do that. You're giving me nightmares. Ugh. Well, it was your idea to do this. I know. And its two red glowing eyes glare down at your group. Damn it, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't be right in the middle of the den, but okay. All right, not my turn. Uh, it would be Scrub's turn, but he's not here, so Rosalia? Pixie. pixie. Oh, Pixie. Okay. We have Pixie and Ivory. So Pixie goes first, and she grins over at her mom, exposing all four canines. And Min looks at her and goes, and just waves a paw going in a sense of go right ahead all right so oh gary you've done it again yeah Ooh, that is a good role for our dear dear pixie, pixie. good as in it's going to do a lot of damage or good as in it's going to keep her alive both okay because she has a brawl score of 11. And you see the roll of 15. Ooh, and that is the defense of that thing. Okay, Pixie rears up on her hind paws, crouches down, and kicks off as hard as she can towards that giant spider. Grabs one of its legs, the half one, actually. Rips it out and uses it to hit the thing over the head, making it fall down towards you guys. Can I get out of the way? You guys have, that... Do I have you, the op you guys have time to get out of the way, yes? Also, the thing takes I still on the nine floor. damage from this. Yeah, uh, get out of the way, I'm quickly. I'm on the floor, aren't I? Um, <laughs> Follows. I roll out the way, or...? You're still on the floor, <laughs> yes. Someone would have to carry you out of the way. Fine. Carries Garius out of the way. Oh, no, I get up and flap my wings. Your wings are still oh, bound by the silk. Oh, crap. N no one has freed you yet. 
Okay. I just try and drag myself away. <laughs> I grab you and drag you. Rosalia, you okay? Hey, Chris, you alright? Chris? She's muted herself. She's been muted. Sorry. I just noticed that and I wondered if you were okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, just, um... Uh, Is a giant spider too much? No, 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 no. I, I have no problem with spiders. Uh, just, just my back, uh, got all re, re, re stuffy. Ah. But I'm better and I'm trying to say that I was helping Mama getting Garius away from the big spider falling down. Okay. <sighs> And don't forget, our dear, dear Pixie still has one more attack that she can do. Okay. Just telling you guys, this giant spider has 40 hit points. And has now taken 9 damage. From the hit or the fall? Both. Okay. It lands where all of you were just standing, crushing two of your soldiers, Garius. Crap. Among them, the one with the anti-tank thingy. Yep, the IN Vulcan. Mm -hmm. And it starts thrashing around as it has landed on its back. Ooh. Disadvantage! And <laughs> Pixie now jumps down, kicking off the ceiling with the leg that she just ripped out between her paws. She is reminding me too much of Barbara. Yeah, why didn't that work? Okay. Mm -hmm. It won't roll for me. See that? Mm, yeah. Let me try. Either it doesn't like you or it isn't working. That's not working. working for Garis. No working for anyone. Mm. Uh that's but down. Do you want me to use the do you want to use the Dragon Age um dice bot? Yep, where is it? Dice for Ah, no, it answered. We should be above rules. It works again. Okay. Only took a while. Just as I offer an alternative, it goes, no, I'm not useless, I'm not useless. Yeah, I didn't think. Argent A. No idea. We can use Midnight. Most likely uh, because it has a problem, it couldn't uh, get your name, and it's a default name. Uh, okay, I'll try to roll again. Can we Damn use it! You should use mine! Yeah, okay. use Midnight. So, while in mid-flight, Pixie loses control of her descent and instead crashes in the floor right next to the spider's head. <laughs> no! Am I head first. Ow. Taking <sighs> four damage. And now it would be Ivory's. Ivory's turn, who grins devilishly at midnight. Again, waves a paw and says, go ahead. Okay, ma'am, let me show you what Uncle Morpheus told, uh, taught me. Ooh. And he turns into his mist form and completely wraps himself around that spider. Oh no. But he also calls out telling you guys that he will not be able to hold on for long. One turn maximum. Of each of us or just the person who's next, which is... Ram, which is Rosalia. Mm-hmm. Which one? Leather. 
So uh, Rosalia what? has to do something now. Mm-hmm. Ouch. <laughs> Our medic has to deal the most damage. No pressure at all. No pressure at all. I just have some paralyzing medicine in my backpack. So thank you very much. I just need to find its mouth. You in want to put... Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to put medicine, force feed, a giant spider. I have paralyzing medicine basically paralyzes somebody who would need an operation or anything. Yeah, no, 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 no I get that. Uh, it's the yeah, act of uh, going towards a spider's mice that I'm worried about. But okay, do as you wish. Walks over, opens the bottle, and bottoms up. <laughs> this is enough to take out... It should be enough to take out almost any creatures, because she was even taking in the account that Ivory could become, like, elephant or whatever he wanted to be, so she needed something that couldn't even work on him. Okay, Rosalia, I need you to do a brawl check. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Ah! Oh, her brawl check, her oh, medicine yeah. roll. I think it's brawl so that you can actually get it down its throat or in its mouth or whatever. Yeah, because she's trying to force feed it. But, nom, the, nom, nom, nom. but the spider manages to turn its head away and actually knocks the bottle out of your paws with Can its pincers. Hmm? Can, Can I catch it with my magic? Do a Before magic check. It... I do have other bottles, but I don't want to waste them. Roll. Yay! For me, yay if it doesn't get high. Yay! Okay. <laughs> you catch the bottle. However. Uh... Yay! Do a brawl check, please. Uh, please, 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 please. It does not <laughs> knock you into another wall with its yeah. pincers, but you slide off its chest. As it's a struggling against ivory. May I make it? Uh, can I yell at her, her for something? Mm -hmm. Rosalia, try to take its power. You, we don't need to kill it to, to get its power. Try. I'm not killing it. I know, but just get it before the thingy can't get it. Has to can't keep him. Her him. Pronouns. <laughs> what can I do? What shall I do? How do I do this? I'll. Place a paw on her, grab the power. You actually, okay. well, I'm going a bit, bit meta here for a second because Rosalia has no way of knowing this. But Midnight so... knows how to take another's power. You have been taught that by a different Lupina. To bite it? To bite it and suck out the power, yes. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Rosalia, bite it and absorb the power. She kind of looks at her like, Ew. Do it! Give it like a okay. Christmas turkey. Just picture a nice succulent Christmas turkey and bite into it. Well, then it is a good thing that my brawl is so high. You bite into its flank. It's Wasn't very... I with it? Hmm? Uh, no, forget it. I forgot that I slided off its chest or something. Yeah. You bite into his flank 
and his very bitter tasting juices fill your mother. <clears throat> but you also feel a power that is lurking right, bef right in front of you. No. Uh. <laughs> you actually you want to do that. Is <laughs> that what she's gonna do when she sucks up the power? You swallow down at least two mouthfuls of his blood, but do not extricate his power. Seriously? Mm -hmm. What's, what am I gonna do? Isn't that what I'm gonna do? Like, just... Magic. Yeah, like have magic to... stuff. You have to concentrate on the powers that you're feeling and then suck it out with yours. She okay, do that. <laughs> okay, do I do that. Magic check. I have to do a match. Yeah, because he will be fighting you. He will be resisting this, yes. No! Right, the mm. Oh. I still have all my other magic stuff, is. But I guess he has his own too. Yes. You're basically looking at a giant spider with Lupina's character sheet. Oh, nice. Um, oh my. Instead of you feeling yourself grabbing onto his power, you suddenly feel something grabbing onto yours. Resist! 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 Uh oh. Uh. Roll medical defense. Please, 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 please. Please tell me that, that that works. Yes, it does work. Oh. You do not lose your magical powers to him, but uh -huh. you feel that you are for some reason unable to let go. Okay, I think it's Ramo's turn now. Mm hmm. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Help also, me. Ivory gets flung to one side and that spider frees itself. Okay. Um, Can I like, try to stand my ground so I'm kind of keeping it <laughs> on the back? You're now basically floating in the air, holding onto its rump with your teeth. I thought uh, it was a... Uh, yeah, flank. She's hanging have... off it. I have two actions and one attack if I understood correctly, or? Mm -hmm. Okay, first I would try a magic check to teleport Rosalia back to us, because I think uh, what's happening there isn't what should happen. Okay, go ahead. Mm. You can ah. just say it doesn't work. He does teleport her. Oh boy. <laughs> Can, can I refuse the teleportation? <laughs> yes, actually you can. If you do a magic check. <laughs> I thought I had like I had the right to deny teleportation stuffy. But okay. Well, the only well, rolled the only... a two, it's not that hard to beat his check. Unless you could fail. <laughs> yeah, the problem <laughs> is for uh, the, 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 the basic problem is at this moment I don't think you know that uh, my teleportation would fail. It didn't. F <laughs> and Rosalia your resists score. your teleportation attempt. She do? Mm hmm. Okay. I have a high magic too. Uh. Yeah, but. Oh, okay. I'm just a little bit surprised by the numbers. Anything else you want to do? <sighs> Maybe free Garius? <laughs> still on the floor. So, so Twitch is on the floor. Free Darius, because he's after you. 
<laughs> Otherwise, he's just stuck. Okay, can I teleport it's him out of the web? You can just cut it. Or can I simply cut it? I don't know how sticky the webs are. You have a claw. <laughs> Your claw can cut it, and I will not even let uh, uh, have you do a check. Okay, then I cut it. Otherwise, I would uh, try to teleport him out. Okay, so you free Garius. Yeah. Good. Just one second. I'm going to the toilet. BRB. You guys can continue. I just thought I'd let you yeah, know. I'll be right back as well. Okay. Um, so, and I, Ivory is not in the way for an attack. Um, no. He's like okay. slumped against the wall right now. Okay, because otherwise it could be bad for him too, because I attack. Okay. With, Rosalia. With the water Don't pistol again. With the water pistol, okay. Do a dexterity check. Oh. Yay. I hit him with a water pistol. <laughs> you hit his eyes <laughs> with a water pistol and it starts screeching. Well, if these spiders are close to ours from the non chemical stuff, uh, lemon is the best thing you can use against the spider. Despite the smell of it. Yeah, but you hit him in the eyes, so right now he's also blinded. Yay! Okay, and since he only has one eye left, uh, I think it was a bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> he has actually two eyes right now, but you hit both. Two? Okay. Okay. And now I'll be right back as well. And Garius, you better think well what you do on your next turn. I've already got the next turn planned, so don't worry. Question I definitely want an answer for is if Flamenite has also effect on uh, this universe, but does. Yeah, I think the first thing is um, teleport Rosalia away so we can order his men to use grenades. I don't think that's a good idea. She also no. already resists my teleportation, she doesn't like that. Yeah, because hello. Yeah, but I'm more powerful absorb... than you are. The only way I can absorb its power is by biting onto it. So I'm already biting onto it. I just need my turn to try to absorb again. So don't just like get it down on the ground and hold it down or something. I don't know. Well, question. Remind me. Uh, wait, is Visual hmm? still here? Visual nope. shot on the AFK. Yeah, oh. it's uh toilet. Can any of you guys remember if? Um, we can take power if someone's dead. Uh, I think it automatically goes to like next it's person or next person. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So he ha kind of has to be alive. Because otherwise, I'd say Rosalia get away again, so we can try again. Because you can, if we can, if we can, like bomb him to make him a little less powerful. Because right now he's got thirty-one. Uh. 31 health so it's likely that bombing him with grenades won't kill, won't him. kill him but it will at the very least knock him out or disable him a little bit more enough so that you can grab his power but if you're there you're going to get hurt yeah but no, we know any that attempt that... to damage him has a risk of hitting Rosalia, and he doesn't want that. Uh, I'm still recording. Oh, uh, one second. I'm just gonna mute myself. So, what's Nightfall thinking then, um, with everything that's happening? I mean. He's, I, mm, I don't know if he's seen worse than this. He's certainly seen more scarring things than this, but outright disturbing. Eh. He's also wondering how all those soldiers are crammed into this small hallway. From what I can tell, it's a large open um, room. And well, they I mean, are humans, so unlike walls, they don't affect that much horizontal space. 
Okay, Garius. Yes, but they take up much more vertical space. Your turn. Okay, um, Garius' first order of business, as I mentioned, um, while you were going to the others, he's going to try and teleport Rosalia away. That's no. his first course of action. She may not like it, but that's what he wants to do. Oh, 50. So that's a basic success. Let me check. No. Oh. I think I have a higher magic check, so that should be. I'm a plus ten. Last such. You managed to teleport her next to you. A very irritated and slightly angry Rosalia looks up at you, with still, I guess, some spider blood on her teeth. I'm still looking at the spider. I'm in full mission mode. I um. <laughs> Order my men to throw their grenades at the spider while backing away from it a bit. So it's going to be just a row of grenades for this little bugger now. 16. Mm -hmm. Since it's on its back and disorientated by blindness. Crap. The grenades stop in midair, surrounded by yellow magical glow. Can my magic try and um, disable it? Can I counter it with my magic? Um, That's my second action. The grenades being my attack, and this being my second main action. Yes, you can. Damn it. The grenades fly back into the group of your men. Ow. Does their energy shields and armor protect them? Roll defense. Five. Damn it. Why am I rolling crap now? I you are lucky. Back. The shields come up quickly enough to prevent major injuries. But they still get scattered about by the blast. Yep, that's fine. Now it's Nightfall's turn. Oh boy! Does anyone have anything they'd like me to do? Because I have several options and I don't know which is a good one. Attack the thing? Do you want him to die? <laughs> um... Do flares do fire damage? If so, hit it with a flare. I mean... I would imagine they would. Do they? No. Okay. Also, this thing has now rolled over again. It is right side up. Lumbering hmm. towards you guys on its three rem re remaining legs. Wait, did Pixie pull off the one that was regrowing? Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. I gotta three. ask. Okay. It had three and a half. So yeah, ask. Does it have any specific elemental weaknesses? You can do an investigation check. Because <sighs> I have an idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. Also, if there's anyone between me and the spider and also anyone behind it, I would recommend they get out of the way. There is Ramo. Uh, not Ramo, um... Ivory, who is dazed, leaning against. Ah, uh, yes, he's still he's still against the wall. And mm. um, Pixie Cotton, who's not quite knocked out, but stumbling around a little, as if she's hit her head very hard. This thing has a mouth, right? Yes. What would happen if I just shoved a shotgun down its throat and pulled the trigger? <laughs> you <laughs> piss it off. <laughs> Uh, 
you'd hurt it very badly, but you'd also piss it off. And possibly lose Are, are we talking, like, to the point where it would target me? Yes. Oh. Oh. Mm. Do it. Very tempting. <laughs> it's very tempting. <laughs> but, knowing you, I would have to roll a brawl check to force its jaw open, and, and then probably an accuracy check just to shove the shotgun down its throat. Exactly. Mm. Well, well I mean, then again, it is a shotgun, so I, I can't imagine I would need high accuracy for it. It's your choice. Hmm. Would that count as one action or two? Or, I guess it would count as one action and one attack, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, first I'm gonna go with the investigation check, because what's the worst that could happen? Oh, uh, what is it? It's roll 1d20. Don't say that! Never say that! <laughs> no, really! Never say that around him! It's all too well. I will- I will be very- I would be very impressed if there's something worse than just me dying outright due to my stupidity that he could come up with for me failing this investigation check. I will be very, very Challenge impressed. Accepted. Oh, I almost, I almost hope I fail this, so that <laughs> Go I can see what happens. I'm not even gonna ask <laughs> what I need because I know it's gonna be too high. <laughs> Roll it then. All right. Oh. You see that the spider has three legs, two on its left side, one on its right. That it is squinting through bloodshot eyes and that its carapace seems to be cracked near the belly area. Carapace? It's... Uh, Shitting. It's exoskeleton. It, yeah, spiders so have an exoskeleton. underneath on or on top? The belly. So underneath. underneath. Okay. I'm just trying to gauge what the chances are of success of me shoving a shotgun down its throat is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll have trouble seeing you. See, the reason I was asking about elemental, um, elemental weaknesses is because the, uh, the Hydra can fire different types of ammunition, and I don't remember what I had it loaded with last, so... <laughs> you know... Might be radioactive, might be explosive, might be incendiary, who knows? You had acid loaded, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay, that works. Also, hmm. you know, you could make it fall over by taking off its left side. I could do that, but... But last time he stabbed a corpse, it didn't go his way. <laughs> but get this, I could also get myself killed by this. <laughs> I really want to do it just to see what happens. All right, I'm gonna do it. Oh wow! What are you going to do? <laughs> For some stupid reason. I'm gonna roll to force its jaw open. Okay. So you run up <laughs> to it. And try to force its jaws open. Okay. Alright. I swear. If it rolls any high number, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Alright, what do I need to succeed? What, what do I need, firstly, what do I need to roll for, and secondly, what do I need to roll to succeed? You need to roll for Brawl. As I s assumed. And your entire score needs to be 18. Mmm, I can do that, but it's gonna be dicey. It's gonna be real dicey. What? Oh, crap, I messed up. Hang on. I rolled, I accidentally hit roll 2. G20. You rolled a five. Uh, oh. Do I have to say more? Goodbye, Nightfall. 
I mean, I never said I was sticking my head in its jaws, Jesus. You I mean, there went my other arm, that's all I'm gonna say. Fail to pry its jaws open, and it catches you with its pincers. Impaling, I still got another trick up my... Impaling your sides. Ah! I have another trick up my sleeve. Please roll, for, please roll for physical defense. Uh, uh, I don't like this. Don't like this. Don't Ooh. like this. That uh, could be worse. That's a nine. Take five damage. Okay, I'm on half health. I'm fine. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna walk away yeah. from this. Next, next turn, you're getting a heal. <laughs> Ooh. So oh, wait, now, it's my turn. Now that thing even has a hostage in Nightfall. Hmm. It won't for long. Trust me. Let me just let me just get ready to roll my next thing. Because the dead person is not a hostage. Basically. Um, it's midnight's turn. Basie, hot pot, bear, chili, pepper, um, down your... Oh, Wait, didn't I still have an attack I could do? Or did that count as both my attack and my action simultaneously? Yep. Alright, eh. I'm putting my quad-barreled shotgun to its head, though. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It's gonna have okay. a bad time. Uh, big question by the side. Has Wamo any idea if um, he can also resurrect uh, people in this uni uh, universe? If he what? If he can resurrect people, basically he has his own, uh, underworld uh, control yes, in this universe. Yes, And he okay. knows. Hey, then it's good we brought Ramo. Okay, um... Thanks. <laughs> 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 The ultimate I medic. Like that. The <laughs> ultimate medic. Just everyone charge in, die, and he will bring you back. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do what I think at all equally. The just saying, if Ramo were to do that in this universe, he might have to face off against this world's Elysium. Most likely, but I was only uh, quest uh, asking if it is even a possibility to try it. Yes. Or if he knows that it is a possibility to yes, try it. Yes, he knows, and you could try um i'm gonna try and do what i suggested nightfall do um and rip his rip his one leg off on the one on the right side how are you intending to do that um run over and grab it and tear it off with my paws brawl check Wait, no, I'm not good at brawl. Too late. Wait, well, ain't that unfortunate. No, no, no. Boy, howdy, that sure is just a shame. Go ahead. Roll. Um, eh. I apologize in advance if, it, if you, the main character dies. Yep, I'm dead. Mm. No. The result is you try to grab its leg, but instead it stomps on you. That I nice need to roll too. for health. Physical defense. And I also need to grab my character sheet. That would have been smart to do. Where did I put it? Um Can you tell me how much health I have? Oh for goodness sake. Where are you? There. You have eleven health points. Mm. Rosalia? Yes. Apologize to Lipina for me. I will. So, have you rolled your physical defense? Yes. Damn it! Oh. No! No, no, no! I'm dead! 
dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. You take ten damage. <laughs> So you have one health point left. <clears throat> While this giant spider is standing on you, I might add. It's Which counts well. as you well. being pinned, meaning until you are freed or you use your magic to get out of there, you have no further actions or attacks. Pixie! <laughs> Pixie, it, it is not actually Pixie's turn. turn. And Pixie shakes her head to clear her mind because she's still a little dazed from her head first impact in the cobblestone floor. And immediately rushes over to help you. Help. And gets squatted away like a fly by one of the remaining legs of the thing. And she tries again. This time she actually reaches you. Evading the other leg that is trying to like swat her away again ooh ooh yeah as she tries to lift the leg off of you um one of the other two legs swings around and hits her right on the noggin. She's knocked out, isn't she? Hmm? She's knocked out, isn't she? We will see about that now. Nope, but she's um, pretty dazed, taking two damage. Making this now um, Ivory's turn, who once again turns into his mist form to try and envelop the thing. And he succeeds. What does that mean exactly? That means the thing now can't move and he uses his hold on it to lift the leg that is pinning you. Yay! Runs away! Yay. Stumbles away and hides behind Garius. I'm not going to be able to take this much longer. You need to get Rosalia to suck the power out of her. It. Just I'm out of character, people are sleeping, so I'm going to have to be quiet. I'm going to write down in the chat what I do. Is that okay? It's okay. I will read it out then for people to hear. Thank you. You're welcome. Write it in the dice chat so that no one in the Algemein chat gets confused. Um, um yeah. So is it Rosalia's turn now, or...? Yes, it is Rosalia's turn. It's Rosalia's turn. Yeah. Uh... Uh... Did, did you get prop... Did you actually get away from the spider? Yes, I did. Okay, so... A little bit calmer, so she won't head bash down the spider, so she will instead... Uh, how... 
yeah, I guess just go for a bite in the leg and try to suck the power again. And Garia says he'll do his best. And I brawl? will need you to do a brawl check now, yes. Yeah, because if Midnight and Pixie still were kind of trapped, she would basically be like, Don't hurt my family! And she would basically do, you know when she crashed into the trees? She would basically mm -hmm. do that, but protect her head. <laughs> <sighs> no! <clears throat> you feel one of your teeth loosen slightly as you try to bite the lower end of this chitinous body. Mm. Kinda fickle with uh, the tooth with my tongue a little bit and then I try to bite again another place. Go ahead. I guess my two field. You Definitely. bite into a fleshy joint. This bitter liquid that is this thing's blood once again flowing into your mouth. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> I just imagine like blueberry puke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rosalia, <laughs> congratulations. You manage, with a little bit of effort, to suck out the power of this giant spider. Can we sense that? Yes, you can. That's it, my daughter! <laughs> Looking <will> very... <laughs> You will get, due to doing this, wait, where's your character sheet? There it oh, is. I'm getting bonuses, yay. yay. A bonus of one to every stat. Yay. And Gary says, good job, Rosalia. And yes, I'm trying to put on a voice for her, for him. Why am I struggling with pronouns recently? Oh. I have now edited your character sheet already. Thank you. So how much more power does she have? One on each attribute. Yay. Okay. So not double? No. Aww. <laughs> I would love that too, but I think that would be a little bit too old. Also, also, the spider collapses and passes out. Releasing Nightfall. Yay! <laughs> Goes over to Nightfall and like nuts at him with my with my snout like you okay? Uh, I'm fine, Rose. Don't worry about it. It's just a little bit of internal hemorrhaging. Go worry about midnight. Internal hemorrhaging, your sights have been pierced, you're bleeding. Shh. <laughs> I'm fine. Midnight's the one that's down to one HP. I I was only taken down to half health. I'm fine. Uh, can I just like start bandaging bandaging him because I'm afraid he's gonna bleed out? I know my mom can like magically heal herself, but I don't know about this guy. I mean yes, yeah, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> So you bandage him up so he's so his bleeding is stopped so he doesn't die. Yeah, and give him like, That would be uh, unfortunate. Uh vitamin pills and something to eat. Like lem lemon lemon bread from Lord of the Rings, you know. Okay. One bite is enough to fill a grown man's stomach and the hobbits needs three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Except if it's a hobbit. One yeah, small hobbit, bite. Hobbits need three and a half ones. And that's for one meal. <laughs> mm. so, so, Rose, you now also have a new ability. Yay! What? You can spit spider silk. Cute! 
you know, as you do. <laughs> awesome! So, nothing new for you. <laughs> spider silk they, that is as... RP. <laughs> spider silk that is as strong as steel cables. Ooh, nice. That's pretty neat. Yes. I can now build my own treehouse. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he she wants to use it for. Of course, this avatar of war wants to use her spider spit <laughs> for a treehouse. Priorities. <laughs> ah. You should know your daughter by now. <laughs> she might be uh, an avatar of war, but she still likes to have fun. <laughs> the thing is this, what do you think? Your mama will say if you start spider spitting all over the place. Surprise! <coughs> uh, Han? I saw it. Okay. Whose turn is it next? Ramos? Yes. <coughs> and you guys get a little bit of a surprise. Mm. That worries me. Me too. <laughs> the dead pen. Um, as you are standing there contemplating what to do, you he feel, especially you, Ramo, because it's your turn. Mm. <laughs> uh oh. Two <laughs> very strong entities approach fast. Uh, it would shout to the west. We got, <clears throat> we got company doubled. Where? Don't know. <laughs> can I walk over to Rosalia and say, "Heal me"? Yes, you can. Oh yeah. Even though <laughs> it's Ramos' to... turn, so. <sighs> well, if it's still, it's is it still my turn? You know, it's yeah, Ramos' turn Ramos. now. It's my turn. Uh, even if, if Rose is normally the one for for healing, how good uh, is uh, would Ramo be at healing? And what would it be uh, to roll? You know basic first aid, and if you roll a 12, <coughs> you can heal <laughs> two health points. Okay, then I think I let it, it's better if I let that for, uh, for Rose. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe heal her so she doesn't die in the next attack? Well, technically, we, uh, it's happening at the same time. So if I would try to heal it at my turn, I don't know exactly how this uh, visual. Yeah, but it's two this. turns from when I'm going to be. Uh, it's going to be my uh, my turn, so I can't get healed. So someone, please heal me. I don't care who, just someone. Okay. So you want to do basic first aid on her? Best I can do. Okay. Yes. Roll. Okay. But is my multiplier? Do I have at least two points for it? No. Damn it. Okay, let's just say you grab one of the gauze bandages from Rosalia's backpack and start bandaging up midnight. However, when you are done, she looks a little bit like a mummy. <laughs> Not what I meant! <laughs> do I gain any health points back? No. Damn. Nah. You tried. <sighs> Rosalia kind of tries not to laugh but gives you like a thumbs up <laughs> you left only her eyes and muzzle <laughs> and nose free <laughs> she's glaring at both of <sighs> you oh uh, midnight. I should have at least have one turn left. Can I simply uh, give this to Rose? That she can use it in, in, uh, instead of me? Mm -mm. Okay. You've used up the bandage. Uh. She's have... only one bandage with her? No, I have a lot more. But you used up the bandage that you had. That you took from her backpack. Yeah, but I, I should have one turn left, or? You have one more action or attack that you could turn into an action, yes. Okay, then I take the next bandage and put it into Rose's hands. 
Why you take a bandage out of my Why am I getting bandaged? I have no idea. He, he, that's how I understand that, uh, how I can give him my turn. She needs a healing potion, not a bandage. Exactly! At least but it is your failed his, But he failed his check, so I had to do something hilarious. So why not Ramo ask her for to give Midnight a healing potion? That's what I tried to do with giving her my turn. But Visual said that doesn't work like this. So I tried the next best. He said I could give her the bandage and she could use it instead. But she, I mean, no, she has the bandage, so now she has a turn. She, can, she could throw the bandage away and use the healing potion instead, if I understood the system correctly. She could. Because now she has a turn, because I gave her the bandage. <coughs> okay, I put the bandage back in my bag and got one of my good and big uh, healing potions. Bottoms up, mom. I drink it. <laughs> Do a magic check, please. Me or Rosalia? You. It's okay. a health pool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, health potion. Seriously? You regain four health points. So I have Just five. four? That was a big one. So now you have four, uh, five health points, yes. Mm. Better than nothing. Well, that's better. Yeah, that's better than nothing. Which would Thank make you. it Garius's turn, and he wants to shoot, have his men shoot the defenseless no, spider. Wants... Ah, I but don't. I, I want to do that too. He deleted that and said, "My men go into the, go to the group in a defensive stance." Okay, so Garius has his men take a defensive parameter around our group. Those that are still alive. Which would then make this Nightfall's turn. Oh. Okay, and he casts I'm... a shield around the group. I'm going to execute the spider. I hope you realize that. <laughs> I'm going to execute the spider. <laughs> yes, Garius, in... your shield is up. Alright. So, Nightfall. So, would I have to roll to place my quad-barreled shotgun against its head and just... Pull? <laughs> yeah? Yes. What would I have to roll? Dexterity. I'm literally... What? What? <laughs> Don't forget the recoil. It's a quad-barreled shotgun. Of course it's gonna have recoil. I'm yeah. sure that when he was testing it, it, it he, he broke his nose more than a few times. Go ahead and roll. And possibly a wrist. Or two. Uh, alright. Let me check. What is my... What is my dexterity? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. I, I had lowered my dexterity. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> what do I need? Let me see. What is your dexterity score? Oh. <laughs> I'll say you need a total accuracy score of 12. Hmm. Oh, what was there was something I was going to say. What if, what if I pulled the triggers one after another? I pulled them one, two, three, four, instead of pulling them all at once. Then you would have to do a check for each and every one. But would it also not require lower values? No. It wouldn't re because So you're telling- Because the head of the spider is curved. <laughs> and you could potentially slip and shoot yourself in the hoof. Well played. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna roll to fire all four barrels simultaneously. Okay. So I needed a total accuracy of 12, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And I have four now, so... Hey, that works. The explosion of all four barrels is kind of deafening this close. I should imagine it would be. And you get splattered with spider brain. Hey, it's better than... Well, I'm not going to say it for the sake of Rosalia, but 
it's better than some of the things he's experienced. <laughs> There's, it, it's been worse. All right, well, there we go. That's one down. Now, how many more do we have to kill? Four. Great. Actually, you didn't even have to kill this one. I know, but I wanted to. Midnight, are you proud of me? I killed it. Well, get ready. There's two more incoming. Remember, there are five of them. Mm hmm And we nearly died taking down one. Correction, you nearly died. I'm Midnight. doing perfectly fine. Well, except for these holes in my sides, but, you know, whatever. You're the one who nearly died. You know you yes. guys can also retreat. Yeah, we could, but where's the fun in that? Mm, actually, <coughs> retreating might be a good idea. Garius, what do you think? And yes, I know we'll have to wait a bit, but... My theory here is that... Retreat, regroup... Assess situation. Maybe come back later. Yes. We knew one of them was dying. Not all th all five. The question is, do we retreat back to our dimension, or do we just retreat into the dimension? I say we go deeper. We won't get another cha another chance of for surprise. I mean, he's right. We have already killed one. And. From my point of view, the chance of surprise is already over. They are coming for us at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can so just if set up a defense. If someone gets a surprise, it's us. Well, you guys also know that they're coming. Point. But the thing is this. The one you took down was hurt. Mm. These ones necessarily won't be. Retreat! I think it's better if uh, if we go back and ask uh, Papa for another crystal later. How do you know it's Barbara? I have a I shield said, up. He said Papa. Oh. Yeah. He says he's using that. <laughs> <laughs> you <Sorry>. have nothing. <laughs> However. As Midnight is contemplating what to do, a dimensional portal opens up outside of Garius' shield. Okay. Does anyone want to do something about this? I mean, this has Can just I become a normal occurrence at this point, so no one's surprised at least. Can, can, I, can I sense if the magic is like nice magic or bad person magic? Not like really, if no. I know the magic signature? <laughs> no. Okay, can I block it? You could. Like try to stop it? You could. Uh, can I do an investigation check to see if I know which dimension it's from or if they're. Yes, that's you the, can. Or if that's them coming to us? You can okay, do Okay, you do that first. Check. Okay. And I do a magic check to stop it if it's bad person. You sense that this is a portal coming from your home dimension. So, not trying to stop it? Uh. Your choice. Not right now. See what comes through, because that could possibly, that is most more likely to be help than anything. Okay. Shucks um, my shoulders. A purple wolf sticks her head through the portal looking left and right. Hello. Is that Barbara? Mm-hmm. Barbara? Hello. You come to help? I was kind of curious as why you would jump dimensions, or if you had taken my advice, but yes, I was thinking I'd check out what you're doing here. Question. The two that are coming here, I assume you can sense them. Are they low or are they high? Basically, how much damage did you do? 
I threw them around a bit. We nearly died taking this guy down. Well, one of us. Retreat or no? She looks at your group appraisingly. Rochelia looking kind of grumpily at her. You're actually asking my opinion? Quickly, now! You fought these guys before? You know what, what, what they can do. She points a paw back towards the portal. And Garius looks at her curiously. Of course he does. And she says, In my opinion, you are in no state to fight them right now. Uh, another One of time? them is a dragon, and the other is a harpy. What's a harpy? Explain later. All right, we'll retreat for now. Can we go through your portal, or should we go through our own? A twin? <laughs> calm, calm yourself, Ramo. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> as long as you don't mind ending up in Cantalot, you can use my portal. Do what you gotta do. Everyone, through, now! Uh, can I kind of throw or get um, Nightfall on my back and carry him through the portal? Sure you can, if he allows it. You shouldn't be walking with those kind of injury. Don't take a sorrow on me. I'm gonna walk. I'll be fine, Rose. Walks next to you to keep an eye on the bleed, so the bleeding doesn't go up again. Okay. Garius says he'll go last to keep his shield up. All right. Goes three. So one by one, you emerge through the portal with Garius last. The portal closing behind Garius. And no, Barbara does not come through with you. Okay. And as the light that came through the portal before kind of dims, you're standing in front of Celestia with a twitching eyebrow, uh, with a twitching eyelid. Uh, hi! And you First notice half. that she is sitting on the toilet. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> huh. Ursalia quickly walks out of there because privacy people like privacy. Ponies like privacy. So she just kind of takes Nightfall with her and just like, we are leaving. <laughs> Midnight chuckles slightly as she also leaves. Garius also says he leaves. <laughs> well, <I'm> also leaves. <laughs> so, I think I need to give you guys an explanation. Pixie and uh, Ivory kind of hobble out of there. Midnight looks at them all. I think I owe you an explanation. At least a little one. And Celestia uses her magic to turn your head towards her. Oh, you do. Looks. You think? <laughs> Princess, finish up what you're doing there. We'll explain later. I was actually more talking to these guys. You know, the ones actually involved in the war. And Ouch. shuts the door. Ouch. As you leave, you hear her calling behind you. Luna will hear of this! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll talk to her too. Looks at Garis, Nightfall, Ramo, Rosalia, Pixie and Ivory. Look, can you guys keep this on the down low? About Barbara? I'm actually calling her mid now. There's a lot going on, but... Garis, you should know, she's kept her side of the bargain. So I have a little trust in her. 
And considering what I found out about the light, I'm keeping her, I'm not exactly revealing to the light that she's still here. She's also the only reason we're not getting attacked right now. So, yeah. Keep on the down low. If anyone asks, you don't know where Barbara is. You do, however, know that Mid is here. Okay? Yes, you are okay. holding your speech. Um, you feel a gigantic clash of power through the dimensional walls. Uh, Rosalia kind of looks over to her mother like, are you sure they are not sur surveilling us? Looks like, around. Oh. No, I mean a clash of powers. Oh, so... Uh, the fighting of Barbara and Thingy? Mm -hmm. I'm oh. still asking the question. Their only way of surveillance is actually with... Uh, solar Flare. Who suddenly pops up behind you. Hi! You well, 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 speak of the devil. I and he will appear. Teleport. No, but whenever you speak my name, I will appear. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Uh, sorry, I was just telling these guys about you. You may go. And with a... <laughs> he disappears. Rosalia looks at Pixie and kind of has like this... I know what we can do if we are bored, kind of look. <laughs> no, he will only appear if Midnight no. says his name. Why didn't he appear earlier when I said his name? Who said he didn't? Oops. Point. Oops. Um, so yeah. Dine low. We'll... Well done, Rosalia. Seriously, well done. You are now a little bit more powerful. Go tell Auntie Lupina. I will. And she kind of can I can I just like instantly tell her, but I accidentally takes with me nightfall. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh. Teleports to Lupina to tell her all the story in all details, and sorry for messing up and stuff. And how I messed up her. I suggest we go recover. And hopefully... Um, we will be able to do this again, but without as many casualties. And perhaps someone else will be able to gain a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, do we ever? What does do we ever do? Do we ever snitch on you? Oh, point. <laughs> uh, no. Said, no, we don't ever snitch said, on you. Um, no, I where, think... Where. No. Shush, shush, shush. Um, she, wait, it was back when she asked um, about um, Barbara, like that we don't know where she is, and I said, do we ever know where she is? Ah, okay. No, we don't know ever know where she is. <laughs> we actually don't. She's she's always somewhere. Sometimes oh, under my bed. Oh, but yeah. Oh. And I think we'll finish there. Before we finish, mm. there is a bright red flame in midair right in front of you. Did you forget to turn it off? <clears throat> and a scroll lands right on your muzzle. Opens it. In a very ornate handwriting. Um. You read. Dear Midnight. It has come to our attention that you are hiding the fugitive known as Midnight or as you have introduced her to us, Barbara. We don't ever know where she is. She just teleports away. You think we're going to fight her? Your presence is needed to take a statement to these accusations. Signed, Cthulhu. Give, 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 give. 
can I come as well? <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe I'll be honest, Garius. I'll be honest, Garius. I don't know, but this could be bad. This could be really, 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 really bad. Nightfall reads the note over. Burn it. Don't bother going. It's not worth You're it. You're not there. You're a bit looping on me. Um, I can represent my... Yes, Garius, you could represent your world towards the Council of Light. You could. True. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind the backup. I'll let you know if... That, if whenever it's happening and stuff. I knew I couldn't hide this. I'm doomed. Well, you did say Solar Flare's name and then talked about... I sent him away! He popped! Yeah, but you were... Anyhow. You were talking about Barbara and the council chamber as well. When you were pe informing people about Solar Flare. I didn't talk about Barbara. I said I had intel. There's a difference. And you also said that if anyone sees Barbara, please to tell you. Yeah, tell me. So? That doesn't mean that I'm working with her. And it means Darius tell me. bows and says, I'll help as much as I can. Uh, and we finish with Midnight literally freaking out. Mm-hmm. Um... I hope you guys all enjoyed this. We'll upload this when we can. Um, I sure enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. Uh, Chris doesn't... Uh... Huh? What did I do? Uh, Rose doesn't have her uh, usual sentence. What's my usual... Ah. <laughs> 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 the Teespring store. Ah! It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, they have an amazing Teespring store with a lot of cool stuff. Everything from hoodies, t-shirts, uh, phone cases, uh, shopping bags, and uh, even pillows. Mm -hmm. uh, I can... Uh, uh, personally, I can recommend at least the t-shirts and the shopping bags because they handle a lot of weight and the t-shirts last a long time. I'm using mine quite often, and I even used one of them uh, at Galacon this year. And I'm going to use it again at Metrocon this year next week. Oh. Yay! So, did all of you enjoy it? Guys, I it. always <laughs> enjoy being here.
dragon's fire.